Hi, in this video I will show you how you can make two patterns on different channels um, play with the same root note that can be changed using MIDI input. So uh, in this example I'm going to make uh, an arpeggio and the bass line um, and I will start just setting up uh, the arpeggio like this. Um, and. Uh, I will just set all the notes in the middle and that's not in the corners here uh, to relative change plus two and uh, the corner notes or these three corner notes here will uh, be set to minus uh, six and I have set uh, the scale uh, up here to Aeolian so this means that uh, when this is a C3 and I connect all these points uh, it will give us a, a minor seventh chord with C as the root note. So we connect everything around like this uh, and we can press play to hear what it sounds like. So it's uh, a rather simple sequence. Uh, but the point here is that if this uh, note changes, uh, all the notes will change to uh, a different uh, different chord. So if I set this to uh, D-sharp, I will get uh, D-sharp to a third chord. So, um, so what I want to do is uh, I can change uh, this note and I will at the same time change the note of a bass line that I will program down here. So I will just set up a bass line uh, here now. Uh, it will be something like this um, and I will connect them together uh, and usually I would maybe take this uh, line and I would sort of make it go all the four uh, squares um, over but uh, and then loop it uh, but instead I'm going to make it trigger from up here every time this goes around uh, and the reason for that is that I want uh, to be able to change the notes uh, uh, during playback. Uh, so uh, these will be set to channel 2 where I have my bass synth. Uh, and we can just listen uh, if we uh, make uh, this um, uh, a start point as well. We can listen how this sounds uh, if I um, set uh, both to C3 and we get something like this. Uh, so that's the pattern that we were working with and I will have this play at the same time and loop and uh, be able to change the root note as we go. To be able to do this uh, we need to do a little bit of setup uh, and I will start by placing a point here and this is going to be the point that I will use to change uh, the root note. Uh, so uh, first I will have to change uh, how this ARP functions uh, by connecting this point to the last note of the bar. So that will be this one. Uh, and delete this path between these two. So instead it will go round and then it, it will go out to this point. But this point will be set to be a portal point uh, and I will mute it and then there's a path that goes back to the start, so uh, when it starts now, it will just go like this. Um, and now I can make this point not only trigger the ARP, but I can make it also trigger the baseline down here by doing something like this. Uh, but at the moment, when it goes around here, it will just continue straight ahead and go this way, and then the next time it will go down here because this point will only receive one traveler from this point and can't send out two at the same time. Uh, so I will have to make this point send out two travelers and I can do that by making it a split point. And then uh, in the path menu, I can set the weight to uh, two. And when doing this, I can now remove the start point down here uh, and 
if I start it now, you will see it starts to arc. And then the next time it goes around, it will uh, also start the bass line. Uh, and now we actually have the, the situation. Uh, no, we don't. <laughs> we, don't, we, don't, we, don't. we have to do some changes uh, to make uh, this play the actual uh, input note. Uh, and the way to do that, I will uh, make this a pass point. Um, and that means that this point will play a copy of the previous point that uh, the traveler came from. So uh, in this case, that will be this uh, portal point. And I will do the same for all these nodes uh, down here. But instead of using the pass button up here, I will instead use the relative uh, path through values. Uh, uh, and for some reason, uh, there's still a bug uh, here. Uh, it seems, uh, I'm not entirely sure why this doesn't work, uh, but now it works. So I can, I think maybe, no. Uh, I can make this work by choosing a, a relative value here, and then I can uh, press uh, this a relative pass through button and that makes it so that this these notes will play the same note as the previous one but it won't change the channel uh, because if you use the pass button up here it changes everything all the all the functions of the point to be the same as the last one but if i use the relative changes i can make it to just um do the notes um and uh, so now everything will change based on what this note is. So if I press play, I will have uh, the bass line play the same as the harp, the same with notes. And if I change the note, uh, it will change both the harp and the bass line at the same time. So I can do something like this. So the last uh, the last problem now is that uh, this point uh, doesn't trigger the first time it only triggers the second time it goes around so i will uh, make a new start position up here with two points that are both set to be portal points uh, and muted and i will connect these two to this point down here uh, and then i can remove the start point down here uh, and that makes it so that the first time it comes here it receives two points uh, two travelers and will send them out to the pass point here and the baseline uh, down here so uh, in this setup i for some reason lost the ability to start my sequence i um oh i forgot to <laughs> press press the start uh, button so these two are start points and now Uh, I hope uh, this was useful to some of you. Um, bye!